Am I good here? So, oh, you're good. You're good. Hey, uh, first of all, welcome to Indiana, man. Yeah. What do you think of Wabash College? It's, it's awesome. I like the red brick. It looks, it looks cool. When Very you, nice college. Is this your first year here? Yes. So your first year here, and you know, last year was your last year for competition, but I guess to that, um, how's your back? Are you healthy? Um, health is better. I'm not, I wouldn't say healthy. If this is, I hope it's not all the way better because it still hurts. Um, so get, get, but on its way, definitely uh, more tight, you know, less, less spasms. Um, I can maneuver better, but it's still, still kind of grimy at times, still hurts. So working on it. Watching the Olympics, you know, the bronze medal match. That, I, I was like, I know it's obviously hard for you, but like, you know, I'm a fan of you and watching that was hard, man. And, and I was like, is this guy going to be all right in the rest of his life? What's the prognosis? Will you be back? You know, with rest and therapy, will you be back to what you, you know, um, health wise? I mean, that's what they're that's what they're saying. So, I mean, you never know. I guess with back stuff, it's very, you know, people experience symptoms different ways. But I'm I'm hoping so. So, the idea is, you know, yeah, it was a lot of ligament damage. So, uh, I've been getting some, some shots in the in the area to tighten things up. And I think yeah, I think most mostly it's going to be time. So, hopefully, wrestling career seems to be over. I'm two time Olympian. Two-time bronze medalist, it's pretty good. It's a great career, you know what I mean? Like I look at him, you know, he's one of our all-time greats in heavyweight, in my eyes, definitely. But uh, transitioning from, you know, competitor for, yeah. ten, for a decade, over a decade, well over a decade, um, at, at the highest level, to, to a coach, what's that like? Uh, it's a little different, you know, there's, the emotional highs and lows aren't as, aren't as, uh, aren't as keen, aren't as, you know, high and aren't as low. I mean, it's easier, you know, you want the guys to win, but you also, the reality is, you don't experience others' wins and losses the same as your own. So for it's like, if someone, if Kyle Snyder wins something, you know, if Bo Jordan wins something, I'm happy for them, but I kind of get over it because I like them as people. You know, so I'm not, I'm not, how I experience their relationship doesn't have to do with their wins and losses. And same thing on the losing end. Like, when they lose, their world is crushed because in their head they think all this stuff's gonna change, but, my reality is I get over it quick because, okay, you lost a wrestling match. We're, you know, nothing changed for me. I want you to win for you. So, um, you know, after tournaments, you know, I love the day-to-day -day stuff. After tournaments, it's not as emotionally high or low. So that's one thing that I feel like is, is a little different because, you know, you never feel like you're done as a coach. You feel like, I mean, everything's development. And you never perfectly develop someone. So you're always sitting in the situation like, you kind of start to seek highs and lows, and they're not there. So uh, that's one thing getting used to. Because in, in wrestling, you you know you you win something so high, you lose something, you're so low. Um, so you kind of just get used to that life. So that's one thing. Just kind of the monotony of real life starts to settle in. But I love my day-to-day -day stuff. You know, Coach Anderson gives you a call, Wabash College. This is like literally one of your first clinics as a coach. Yeah. All the other clinics where you were a competitor. What's is there a difference there and why Wabash College to be one of your like first camp appearances as a coach? Um, I just know that you know they, they had a lot of kids. They he called me. He uh, he said he wanted me to come out. I'd heard of this before. I know they bring in great clinicians, so um, it was it was good timing. And it was um, you know because college as a coach, you know as a competitor, you're busy, but not really. If someone looks at your day, a lot of it is recovery, which is important for the competition, but it also looks like you're doing nothing. So you're really not that busy. You're just kind of don't want to do anything. As a coach, you're literally busy. You're, you're getting this guy ready, then this guy has a different schedule, the blah, 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 and after the college season, now it's RTC, flights, this, get this guy prepared, this guy's calling you. So, um, not a lot of time to do a lot, but uh, it was, you know, it was, it was good to get the call and, you know, get a couple of these in. Are the Buckeyes going to win another Big Ten title, and are they going to bring another NCAA championship back to Columbus? <laughs> I, that, that's the question on everybody in Ohio's mind, you know. Yeah, that. well, I mean, the, that's a good question. I, I can't answer that. Um, I, I'm not the one who deli I'm not the one who hands out the trophies. So you gotta ask, you gotta ask the tournament director. But as far as I'm concerned, I think the Buckeyes are gonna get a lot better at wrestling. So I think they're gonna improve their chances. But as far as the result, that's on that's on those guys. We're just gonna I'm gonna try to offer them the tools of what I think is gonna help. Last thing, your sons are here. Yeah. How's that? It's awesome. They're. Uh, this is a fun trip. It's been fun because I mean, it's hard. My wife, you know, she stays at home and. My kids are kind of crazy, so they don't travel a ton with us. So um, just being here like, with the clinic in between sessions, eating lunch with them, it's really cool. So I know a lot of, you know, I know a lot of other competitors are used to that sort of thing. You know, they take their wife and their children everywhere. But I don't know, for some reason, we made very, uh, very difficult 
very fun but very difficult and high energy kids and uh, <laughs> they, they don't like to listen all the time so so this stuff it, 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 it is kind of fun it's kind of fun bringing up all right you got more technique to do you got anything else for me uh, no thanks a lot hey thanks for the time buddy